The first stage of psychosocial development is known as trust versus mistrust, which takes place during infancy. This stage depicts the trust that can develop among infants if caregivers provide the infant with constant sources such as clothes and food. If caregivers are able to provide these resources, then the infant develops trust. If caregivers fail to provide for the infant, the infant learns to mistrust and can see the world as a dangerous place. Stage 2, Autonomy versus Shame and Doubt This stage happens in toddlers who have gained muscle control and are tending to their own needs, such as clothing themselves. If caregivers encourage their behavior, toddlers can develop a sense of autonomy. However, if caregivers demand too much or ridicule their behavior, toddlers may develop shame or doubt about their abilities. Stage 3, Initiative versus Guilt this stage happens during preschool years when preschoolers are beginning to pursue activities, for example, playing basketball. If parents support the child's efforts, the child will gain initiative in these activities. However, if instead the parent discourages them in their attempts, the child can develop guilt about their desires and failed attempts. Stage 4. Industry versus Inferiority this stage occurs during elementary school when children are producing things such as drawings. If their work is praised or encouraged, children begin to demonstrate industry and become diligent. If their work is incapable of meeting others' expectations, then they begin to believe their capabilities are inferior. Stage 5. Identity versus Role Confusion This stage occurs in adolescents who begin to wonder what their role in life is and who they are as an individual. They may experiment with variety of behaviors such as changing their look, wondering about their religion, their sexual orientation, and what they want to do with their life. Although this brings confusion, eventually most adolescents achieve a sense of identity in regards to who they are. Stage 6. Intimacy versus Isolation This occurs once young people have established their identity. They then become capable of forming strong friendships with others and even long-term commitments. However, those who can't form Intimate relationships develop a sense of isolation and exclude themselves from others. Stage 7. Generativity versus Stagnation This stage occurs in middle-aged people. People who have made contributions to their society feel a sense of accomplishment and generativity. Those who are unwilling to help their society develop a sense of stagnation over their lack of productivity. It is at this stage as well when some people have a midlife crisis. Stage 8. Integrity versus Despair the last stage of psychosocial development occurs as people reach retirement. They may develop despair if, when looking back on their life, have realized that had various unachieved goals and disappointments. Conversely, they may develop feelings of integrity if, when looking back, they believe to have lived a happy life. <laughs>